Hello everyone, this video is to show you about the updated version of my first Mac script called Change Renderer. You can download this script from scriptspot.com, search for uh, Change Renderer and you can download it from here. And after that, start your Macs and select Mac script, run script, navigate to the folder where you downloaded it and select Render Changer and press Open. So now you have a little GUI with three buttons, change to scanline, to view ray and to metal ray. So, what it does is that it will change the render setup to the one that you click here. For example, I have the render setup set to default scanline render, and when I press change to view ray, it will change the render setup to view ray with a message popping up saying that you have successfully changed to view ray render. So that's the same thing with metal ray. It will change to metal ray with a message popping up. And you may have noticed that there's a slight lag when you're changing between renders and that's because your render setup dialog is open. All you have to do is close it and now when you change the renderers it will instantly change without any slowdown. So I updated the version with 1.02 you can download it from script spot it's the screenshot here and you can run the script and the difference is that as you can see there's six more buttons with some reset and material editor and okay, let's close this one instead of using 1.02 I'll use uh, version 1.04 and these three buttons do their assigned job as you uh, already seen you can see there's a material editor button and what this does is that it will help you change the current material editor to the one that you specify and as you can see there's a label saying that you must turn off lock to current rendering assign renderer and we can turn this off by clicking it and now if you press default material editor it will shift the material editor to the one that you clicked here basically it's actually useless so uh, you know you can use it if you want so there's some reset buttons here I'll explain what it is you can see in the material editor everything is black you know and it's because all the materials are set to V-Ray so the current render setup is set to default and when you press SC reset it will reset all the material slots with standard materials and that's the same thing with metal ray if you press MR reset it will shift all the main uh, you know I mean the materials to arc and design. Same thing with V-Ray, you have already seen. Press VR reset and we'll set to V-Ray materials to all the material slots. So I hope you found this symbol script useful to you. And there's a version 2 coming soon, and in that I'll be adding Krakatoa and Quicksilver and uh, you know and tracer GPU render buttons. And uh, I would like to add more renderers like uh, Indigo Renderer, Fry Renderer, Final Renderer, Maxwell Renderers, things like that. But in order for me to uh, add those render buttons, I would like to get their render class ID safe. For example, I have uh, these renderers uh, included here. Render class dot classes and you can see these are the renderers that I have so if you have final render install it will give you something like final underscore render anything like that and if you can give me that render class name I can add that to the script and add more renderers like it so I hope this I hope you find this little script useful and thank you for watching